This video is brought to you by the School of Social Work AV team and will review how to conduct a video conference meeting using Zoom. Zoom is an easy to use software application for both Windows and Mac. It is enabled in all School of Social Work Canvas courses. Instructors and students can find it in the left hand menu inside a course. Let's get started. Navigate to your Canvas course and select the Zoom tab. Here, you can schedule and join meetings as well as view recordings from meetings that have been set to record. Note, the first time you access Zoom within Canvas, you may have to enable it from the setting tab. To do this, go to settings in your Canvas course, click navigation, which is found at the top, find Zoom in the list of the disabled apps, click the three dots and enable. This will make it available in your course. Remember to click save. To schedule a Zoom meeting, click Schedule a New Meeting and enter a topic and description for your students. Set your date, time, and duration. Note, duration is just informational. Your meeting will not end at this time, but only when you manually end it. Enable Join Before Host allows the first person that joins to start the meeting. Mute participants upon entry can reduce distracting noises as students join. They can manually turn this on and off once the meeting has begun. Recording the meeting automatically will start recording as soon as the meeting begins and will stop it when the meeting ends. Now click Save. When you are ready to start, click Start the Meeting. These are the only steps required for most meetings. With these settings, students can easily join the meeting and will also have the meeting information added to their Canvas to-do list. Now let's review Zoom's interface and basic functions. The Zoom toolbar is filled with a variety of functions. Let's review these. Audio, which is used to mute one's microphone. Video, which will turn on and off your camera. Invite, which is used to manually invite others via email. Manage participants, which disables attendees' functions such as screen share. Polls, which can integrate short quizzes into the meeting. Share screen, to display a PowerPoint presentation or video. Chat, which opens the chat menu for typed discussions or questions. Record, to activate either local or cloud recording. Breakout rooms, which can be used for group work. Reactions, which allow users to use emojis. This can be a quick way to gauge a group's engagement. And end meeting. Now let's review how to share screen. When you select Share Screen, you will be given several basic options to share your whole screen, specific apps, a blank whiteboard, or an Apple product via AirPlay. Additionally, you can choose the Advanced tab to choose a specific selection of your screen, audio only, Finally, you can upload additional content such as video files by clicking the Files tab. When you are finished with your meeting, click End Meeting. If you recorded your meeting, you will have to follow these steps to give your students access. Simply navigate to Zoom in your Canvas course and select Cloud Recordings. You will see a full list of all your Zoom recordings. Now click Publish so that your students will be able to view this video under the Zoom tab in your Canvas course. For additional information or if you have questions, please contact us.